And in Durham, last night's protests were peaceful, but late last night, the Durham Police Department, as well as some businesses, were vandalized. CBS 17's Crystal Paris is downtown live right now with a look at the damage. Crystal, uh, what are some of the things you're seeing? Yes, we're here at the unscripted hotel where someone broke the exterior glass. Uh, thankfully, it's double glass, so they weren't able to get inside. But if you'll take a look here, there is more vandalism over here across the street here. Boldega Market boarded up their business, but someone still spray painted Black Lives Matter on the outside of those boards. Those boards fell over, but there is vandalism over there as well. Now, a lot of this vandalism happened just before or around midnight last night. There was also vandalism at Main Street Pharmacy where the owner says their door and window were broken. Three people got inside and stole hundreds of dollars worth of medicine. The owner says he doesn't think these individuals were associated with the protesters, but this still concerns him as a business owner. I mean, I was uh, a little concerned, but, you know, I just want, I'm happy that, you know, nothing serious has happened, you know, it could have been worse. Protests have been, you know, so far been peaceful. I think it is some group of, you know, people who are trying to take advantage of that, that particular time for their benefit. Now, the Durham police... The Durham Police Department was also vandalized where someone spray painted on the windows there. Despite this vandalism, Mayor Schull does not plan to implement a curfew. A curfew. He says overall the protests here have been peaceful. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.